Now I'm going to show you how the placement or how to get the subject placed on the paper works with the, with the Lucy Flex. And so here we have in front of us the a wooden mannequin that comes with a 71 piece drawing set that we sell. And um, that's why we include the, the mannequin gives you an easy thing to start with. When you start drawing with your Lucy, you want something that's not too complicated like a bouquet of flowers, something simple like a mannequin is perfect or a bowl of fruit, something with, with um, defined shapes that are, that are easy to, to trace is the best thing to start with as you're, as you're starting to learn with your Lucy. And the mannequins are great because then they give you a variety of poses that you can use. And that's what we use with our um, learning to draw with the Lucy drawing course. To show you the placement here with the, uh, with, with the Lucy, as I look through here, let me show you what I'm seeing with my, uh, my phone here. I'm going to film this so you can see the mannequin here. Look through here. See, he's down here on the uh, way on the bottom of my, of my paper. I'm going to top my papers up here. I see the whole wall behind me. The image with the one filter that we decided in the last video was the best one to use is making the image bright enough, but he's not in the right place. And so the first thing you're going to want to do, realize is that the, the view, what is being viewed by the Lucy comes out about like, about like this comes out at an angle like this. So if something's close to you and low, it's going to cut off the top of it. So if you have a landscape, you can see how that would be just perfect. This landscape comes right into view. If a person's standing in front of you about the same height, perfect. The person standing right here for a portrait is perfect. Now, when you have a still life, you want to generally have them as close up, as close as possible because that's how you can have the image be as large as possible. But you want to um, elevate them. So let me show you. Because I, I, I can, you can rock the Lucy back and forth and it helps change the placement of the image. See how he, he kind of moves up when I rock forward? But he's just too low. You're never going to get it to the right place when he, when he starts out that low. So you're just going to take, you know, let me show you this. Take him and just plop him up on something. And there. Now he's... Uh, you see on the paper here, his foot is about right here. His head is about right here. Still not centered. He's on the bottom and about three inches from the top. So then what you're going to want to do is rock it back and forth. You see as you rock it back and forth, now look, his head's off the top. His feet are off, off the bottom. Forgive me well, if I'm making you dizzy by trying to hold my phone in here to kind of give you a view of what's happening. Um, so he's going to rock him for rock the Lucy forward a little bit until he's centered. You can move it back and forth like this to move it. Obviously you can move your paper and you can move him around back and forth to help get him to where he needs to be. If you move him closer, he gets larger, further away, it gets smaller. And so you want to kind of find that size that you want a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, the closer the mannequin gets the top, the higher you're going to need it as well. So right there looks good. So rocking the head back and forth moves the image off the paper up and down like this side to side will, will help center them on the paper. Now twisting the head like this, that doesn't change the placement of where you see the image, but it, sh but it changes what part of it is visible. Let me show you what I mean. So right now, you see in there, um, his head's right at the top of the paper, but you can't see the feet. And so, but if I twist this down, there, his, he didn't actually move. His head's still right at the top of the paper, but now you can see the feet as well. And so that's base, that's that happens when you turn the head like that is it's, it helps to bring other parts of the image into view without changing where they are. So this can be quite intuitive because when you move this thing, the image moves. So just rock it around back and forth, twist it until you want them where he needs to be. If, if it's too big, you can't center it cause it's too bigger than the page. You make them smaller by just pushing it further away, make it bigger by moving it closer. So the sizing can be quite intuitive in that way because it's just a matter of being closer and further. And if you want to make them smaller still, you can bring this down, make them smaller. And then if you come it down, he can be lower. So if you want a really small mannequin, you can put him down low. You can bring this down low. And now this mannequin takes up just 
you know, a smaller portion of the paper. Whereas when I bring them all the way up here and elevate them here, it takes up the entire paper. So you can get that size that you want by, by moving the Lucy head up and down. The lower it is, the smaller the image will be, the higher it is, the larger the image will be. And you can move the, whatever you're drawing closer or further. So just experiment with those things, move them around yourself. You gotta, I can show you this in this video. I can film it through my camera phone, hopefully not make you motion sick. But it, the, the best thing to do is just experiment with something, move it back and forth, up and down, and just get a feel for it. It's kind of like riding a bike. Once you see how that works, it'll become quite intuitive. And what I recommend with, with sizing in general is that while you have two mechanisms that you can kind of turn one way or another to change the size of the image, um, that being the height of the head and the distance of the subject, what I recommend in most cases, unless you really kind of need to make it as small as possible, is just pick a height that's comfortable for you. Whatever's comfortable, pick that height that's comfortable, then adjust the size by moving him. So that way you're comfortable and the mannequin is just wherever you need him to be. And you also can, you know, you can also move the paper back and forth, twist it side to side, move the mannequin. Make sure that when you, you're looking through here that you get the placement that you want. You, that one of the advantages of drawing with the Lucy is that you can see the entire composition laid out the way you want it. So frame it the way you want it on your paper, move your paper, move the mannequin, move the Lucy until you get it right where you want it. Then you're ready to start drawing that image.